this is a paint pad. We use it to trim up against the ceiling. It's got two little guide wheels over here that move up and down. I wind up pulling the wheels up and out of harm's way when I put paint on this, when I set it down into the pan. The uh, situation is if you go really deep into the surface of the paint, you're going to get paint up on the edges of your pad and the next thing you know it'll be all over these little wheels that shield you from touching the adjacent surface like the ceiling and then it'll become a paint delivery system for you not a good thing so when you load the load the pad pull the wheels up set it in the paint carefully don't penetrate deep kinda of like a mosquito on a pond and then You'll see some paint on the pad here, and we'll go ahead, put the wheels back in, the gauge into that, and we'll gauge the, engage the wheels, and as you can see, the wheels turn here, and they'll rub against the ceiling. Here you can see a light coat of paint that didn't quite cover the base. So we're going to go ahead and put on a heavier coat right across here. Now, when paint goes on wet, it is a lighter color than when it dries. So it doesn't look like we're accomplishing much when we really are. Now we'll go ahead and fill in. I'm going to pull the wheels up off of the wall and use this more like a sponge getting paint on the surface. Trying to blend that in. Here's a weak spot from the roller right here. You may not be able to make that out. Okay. Got a weak spot right here yet. And here. Now hopefully when we come back to this, we'll be able to uh, see a nice solid color of fossil white extending all the way down to all the way up to the ceiling. So, these keep you from putting your paint on the ceiling by accident. Let you get up there nice and close. And I'm on a, this is ceiling that's probably over 10 foot tall at some points. I know it's 11 foot up near the peak. And I can do it all from the ground. This tool pivots. And the trick is to keep the wheels clean and these little shields clean when you're using it and that way you won't get paint on the ceiling we'll take a closer look at how it did can you see any paint on the ceiling i see two little tiny spots there but the rest looks pretty nice Okay, it's a quick tool to bring that wall color up to meet a white ceiling. So, there you'll see a two-tone here where I gotta coat it a little more. And I have one room that we haven't hit yet. Over here you'll see some more two-tone color. Where the first coat didn't, I didn't leave it on quite heavy enough. So now I gotta run across that again. Thing about the second coat is that I don't have to really get the, spend the time to get it up into that crease like I did before where that 90 is. We have a nice clean line there. I'm not going to try to get that any heavier that last eighth to a quarter inch in that ceiling wall joint. Okay. So that's the tool we use. You can get these at Ace Hardware. Probably somewhere around three, four bucks. You can get replacement pads. Again, when you load these, don't go down deep into the paint. Or you're going to get paint all over the edges where you don't want it and can't afford it.